Did you know that exercise can actually help your brain to repair itself? There's this special chemical called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF for short, and it gets released after exercise. It's a key protein that supports brain cell repair, and people with neurological conditions tend to have lower levels of it. But just this year, a new 2025 systematic review pulled together nine studies, all looking at the effects of exercise on BDNF levels in people living with MS. Across the studies, the standout finding was just one single exercise session led to significant increases in BDNF levels. Now, that short spike did fade after about 30 minutes, so the review also looked at the effect over longer training periods. Just two studies ran those longer periods of about three weeks, and they found small but consistent increases in baseline BDNF across those timeframes. Now, the research is still early, and we don't yet know if these changes in BDNF level actually translate into functional improvements in the real world, especially over longer timeframes. But physiologically, it's very promising. BDNF is known to help the brain to reduce inflammation of nerves, to strengthen the synaptic connections between nerves, and to support uh, repair processes, including remyelination. I'll mention too that both aerobic and strength training seem to work, but the best results come from training that's often, about five times a week, and at a moderate intensity that causes some lactic acid type feeling in the muscles. Bottom line is get active and stay active. Whether that's playing a sport that you love, a brisk walk in the great outdoors, awesome strength training, just know that whenever you move, you're not just training your body, but you're giving your brain a healthy dose of self-care as well.